Well, hello, hello, hello. Today we're actually going to do something. I'm um, going to show you that uh, we actually got an update coming through and uh, I'm just going to show you how that works. All right, so this morning I actually got uh, this message come up. Um, I already have version 10 uh, on this. But apparently there's a newer version, I guess that's the version number, 2019-32-12-3. And uh, so what happens is I have my settings for updates on advanced. So it'll automatically do the updates whenever they come over the air. So this is what it allows you to do. It either allows you to set a time like later at night. So it'll do it or at 2 in the morning or whatever you want when you know you're not going to be driving the car. Otherwise, you can hit install now and it'll give you it'll tell you an estimated 50 minutes in order to do the install. So um, I'm at work, I'm not gonna be using the car for a couple hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna uh, do the install now. All right, I've actually um, I connected my car. I'm gonna see if it'll still charge while I am uh, doing the update. So I'm just curious for that. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Close that. Now we're going to do this uh, install now. So we'll hit install now. It says during the process, you won't be able to drive the vehicle, use a touchscreen, your car alarm may disarm for a short time. The car must be in park with Falcon ones closed. Air suspension may lower the car during the update. And uh, it'll take two minutes for the software update to start. So currently I'm at uh, 93 miles uh right now so we're gonna see how many you know we're gonna see if the car charges while the update occurs also all right so the countdown's coming down to zero and uh the screen turns off and this is software updating update starting so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna leave it there and i'm gonna go uh back to work and uh and see what happens but apparently the car still is charging so it will charge while the update is uh, is ongoing all right so this screen grabs it just shows you what you see on your tesla app and it'll show you the process of the download and installing the system update all right so we're back um the update ended up installing and with my mcu1 uh, every time I get an update with the last, well, for all, since the last update, I get this blank screen. It's just nothing ever comes up. So I end up having to reset. I have to reset the display. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. And um, while I do that, then let's see if I can do that while I am uh, over here. I'm holding down the two scroll buttons. And I got a video uh, that shows you how to do that. So. We're going to let this reset and um, let it come back up and we'll see what the uh, notes say. All right, so the the display is coming back up. Uh, if you need to find out how to reset that display or reset this display over here, then just go ahead. I'm going to put a link up. Uh, uh, I'm going to put a card up so that it'll pop up and you can actually click on that and take a look at that video. So. Uh, by the way, while we're waiting for this to come back up, uh, the car did charge while it was updating. So in case you were wondering if the car will charge while the you know everything's updating, then it, it definitely will. Well, apparently, this thing is not going to want to show me um, what the update, what the release notes are. Uh, let's take a look, see if we can you know. But definitely, that's the new. You know, that's the new uh, update, uh, 2019.32.12.3. Uh, so it has been updated. And uh, let's see if the release notes will show me anything. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not getting any internet right now. So it looks like there is no internet. Oh, there you go. It just, it just connected to the internet. So 
So we're gonna go ahead and look at the release notes. Maybe that's why they weren't popping up. There you go. So internet wasn't connecting, but it's connecting now. Um, so we're just gonna go through here. Everything looks just like it did for version 10. So honestly, I think, let's see. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing else that's new. All right, so that's gonna be it for this quick video for today. Just going over the update that uh, came over the air today. Apparently it's most likely just gonna be bug fixes, um, you know, any glitches that were going on. So uh, there's nothing exciting, but I just wanted to, I guess, show you how it works when you get an over the air update. Um, you can do this on your phone also. Um, I got the message when I got into my car and it allows you to program it so it'll it'll do it uh, at whatever time you want. You know, you can usually you can set it up like at one in the morning if you're asleep at that time. And uh, but other than that, it's pretty simple. It took about 50 minutes and um, the car does charge while you're doing the update. So that's a good thing to know. But you have to be prepared because you're not going to be able to drive the car for 50 minutes. I don't think there's a way to cancel out of that. Um, I wouldn't try it. I wouldn't try, I wouldn't try to mess anything up anyway. So. Um, it'll tell you though, you know, it'll estimate how much time it's going to take, but, uh, that was the update for today. And, um, it looks like it's just bug fixes because there's nothing new in the release notes. So that's going to be my video for today. If you haven't subscribed yet, then go subscribe. If you haven't, uh, hit the like button, go ahead and hit the notification bell and any comments that you have, you know, please just let me know. Take care.